Welcome back to the Transport Bandits channel. I'm Cheryl. I'm Jeff. And we have an update for you on the last video. If you didn't watch that, is RV Transport dead? I have an update for you as well, too. What's that? Cheryl's driving. Hey, everybody. And I'm relaxed. I know. How unusual is that? Maybe you'll hold the, the, the camera correctly this time. I don't think so. Well, in any case, we have had new information and we have gotten new updates and have investigated the whole industry of what's happening with RV transport right now. And there are no loads on the board. All the companies, you know, are really scrambling because there's just no loads to be taken. There are loads. Uh, we're on a load, obviously, yeah, right but now. There are very few. But on the board, there's nothing. You kind of have to call in. You're put on a waiting list. Uh, so, that kind of thing. It's it's very slim out there. Like the title said, are we at war? We are at war. Are we're, we in the middle of a war? Are we caught, or as, as a transport driver, are we caught up in the middle of a war? We are. We have learned some facts and some information. I'm going to throw this disclaimer out there. Yeah, I wouldn't say we are. I'd say that it's a good possibility we are. I'm going to throw this disclaimer out there that this is just what we have learned, what we have heard, and based on what we're telling you, this is just mine and Jeff's opinion. You may have a different opinion or different facts of what's going on, but this is just what we're learning, and we're going to pass that information on to you. Because it's pretty rele relevant and everybody is asking what in the world is going on with the load boards and not having any loads to take. All the companies, all the drivers are scrambling over loads. Well, what we have learned over the past couple of days is the manufacturers and the dealerships may be at war with each other. Transporters caught right dead smack in the middle of it. Let me explain it. Last year, we had loads, crazy amounts of loads. The dealers were buying like crazy. We would deliver to that dealership. There would be nothing on the yards or their, or their lots to sell because they were selling them as fast as they could sell them. Okay? There was a huge demand in 2022, the end of 2021, and all, well, actually all throughout 2021 and the first half of 2022, huge demand for RVs, especially coming off of COVID. Dealerships couldn't sell them fast enough, so they were ordering all they could of 2022 models. Manufacturers, went into overtime, overproduction. Uh, they opened up extra plants and were producing all these 2022 models. Based on the sales and the demand from the dealerships, and then they made the mistake, they have overproduced 2022 models. So, they got a bunch of 2022 models they need to get out to the dealer. The dealers are full of 2022 models. The dealers want 2023 models. Now that it's August and becoming the end of the year. Wouldn't you? You know, so the dealers don't want to buy these extra 2022 models. They're waiting on the 2023 models. I don't blame them. I wouldn't want them either. Okay, so if you have delivered in 2022 to all the dealerships, there's practically no place to even park your unit once you get to the dealership because they're jam-packed full of 2022 models that they ordered. The manufacturers overproduced. They saw a greater demand than what was actually being bought by the dealerships. This time of year, we should be hauling 2023 campers. But, but they're we're not, not even making them yet. The factories have shut down. They're not producing. The, the manufacturers are only working three days a week. Then they're taking off a week. 
been going on for another three days a week to produce these some 2023 of, models? Some of them are working four days a week. Some of them are shut down every other week. It's, various things so like that. So the manufacturers are not producing the 2023 models. We have heard that there are 50,000 2022 models in Elkhart County sitting around waiting to be ordered by the dealerships. So what has happened in this war between the dealerships and the manufacturers are that the dealerships are full of 2022 models and they sold them like crazy up until the end of June and then they saw a plummet in sales. Yeah, because the customer is starting to want a 2023 model. If you're a retired person or, or you're, you're, you're looking to buy a brand new RV and it's the end of August, well, it's September now. Yeah. Okay. And now that it's September and I've got retirement money or whatever and I want to go on a vacation and I'm looking to buy a brand new RV, I don't want a 22 uh, model, I want a 23 model. So I'm not going to look at what's on your lot, I'm going to wait until the 2023 models come out. Manufacturers are said, hey, we have all these, 20, all of these 22 models and you need to sell those 22 models before we're going to give you the 2023 models. Dealerships are like, we want our 2023 models. Well, with those 50,000 extra 22 models sitting in Elkhart County from the manufacturers, um, they want those dealerships to continue to buy those because uh, they're already made. They're just sitting there, already made, waiting to go to the dealership. The dealership says, I'm not going to buy. Now, this is nationwide and Canada. Dealerships, and we have talked to, every time we deliver a camper, we talk to the dealerships. We talk to the person checking us in. How are sales going? How how are how has business been the last couple of months? And all across the board, at a consensus, they pretty much say, it's been fantastic until we got to July, and then we saw a huge drop. Well, they're not going to order them anymore, 2022s. They want those 2023s. Manufacturers have shut down the plants. They're only producing whatever's necessary on the 2023 models. And so, they are forcing the dealerships to buy the 2022 models, even yet, before they start buying the 2023 models. Because they yeah. need them out of Elkhart County. They, they're already made. You know, I don't know who's going to win this war, but I know who the losers are. Transporters are Transporters caught in the middle. Because now we have no loads. Dealerships aren't going to buy 2022 models. Manufacturers aren't going to make 2023 models until the 2022s are sold. So now, there's nothing on the board. Is this the reason for the problem we're having today? And you know the manufacturers are going to win in the long run. Let's say you have... 300 units on your lot of 2022s and it's the end of 2022 now you've got customers who want the 2023 you're going to have to mark down your 2022 models to get them an incentive dealerships aren't doing that they're keeping that price they're not giving the end of the sales end, end of the, of the year, year sale, of the year sale. incentives to buy the the 2022 well, at least model. not yet not yet anyway well, manufacturers forced the dealerships to reduce their prices on the 2022 models in before there we have enough 2023 models that they can order and get moved to their lot. Now, all this information came from a good source, but still, we're not proclaiming it to be a fact. But it is good information. And so, you, sh you should something know, to yeah, put you in your hat and think about. Yeah, you should know what's going on between the manufacturers and the dealerships, and transporters are left in the dark, wondering, sitting around wondering, why we have no loads. There's a lot of reasons, and that's a big one. You know, guys. So, you know, take it easy on your dispatcher. It's not their fault. They're you trying. Know? They're they are trying. They can't give out what they don't have. I mean, it's a shot you know, in the dark. So, you know, if you call, they might have had a load 
30 seconds ago. And the caller in front of you the got caller the caller in front of you got it. And they're not, they're, the loads that they are getting, there's no hidden list. Dispatchers aren't holding units back, okay? That's a fable, they're that's not. a myth. Uh, the trans, no transporters come up with this on the Facebook groups were. and the forums that dispatchers hold units back from people. I thought there was hidden lists. They are not hidden lists. I thought there was secret load boards. There are not secret load boards, okay? There's no secret what? to it. The dispatchers don't have the loads. They I get all paperwork this, in. So all this time I'm thinking there's a secret load board <laughs> not a secret and I don't have board. the code for it. <laughs> we don't have the code for it. Man, I'm disappointed. <laughs> Me and Jeff, we have to call in like everybody else and say, hey, try to get we a need a load. Don't be picky. That's the that's the issue, and I will reiterate that one more time. We got this load, but it took two or three days. We can't be picky with a load. We took we did that Hershey show, and then we came back. You know, it took two days for her to find us a load. Okay, so that's because we kept calling in and saying, "Listen, we need a load." Uh, and you may be sitting there. You need a load too. Um, and but when just, you call in, be nice. Be nice to them. You get more, what, what do you catch? You catch more flies with honey than you do something. Right. So, if it's, you and it's catch, not their fault. If, there's if not you want to catch, the if you want to catch yeah, flies. It's not the dispatcher's fault because they're, they're only getting on their, in front of them, what comes up, pops up in front of them that shows up, that's available for pickup. Okay. So if you're on the phone with somebody right now and you've been waiting for an entire day or you've been waiting or refreshing of a load board and all that kind of stuff, that load doesn't go on the load board. You'll never see that load. It doesn't go on the load board because she just saw it pop up. This person has been waiting the longest for a load. She's going to go ahead and dispatch you. Do you want this load? And the person's either going to say yes or no. And that's when you can't be picky because that one or two loads just popped up in front of them and they'll ask you hey do you want to go to utah or do you want to go to texas so just give, maybe give you two options or one option even don't be picky take the load right now we're caught in the middle of a war you need to and take what they give you to get through this because at some point somebody's going to break and Pretty much that's probably going to be the dealerships they're going to have to reduce that price on those 22 models and they're going to start selling those and they're going to order those 2023s and when that happens then the manufacturers will come back on with the 2023 models now if that's what's happening we don't know but from that's the our, information we've received it sounds pretty good to us we're caught in the middle of a war. I hope this video has helped explain why we have no loans. Or what at least is happening give, with the RV Or at least industry. to give a, another explanation. Yeah, it's it's just an inside look at maybe uh, what's happening. What's happening with the RV transport industry right now and why there is so much frustration why the all the companies are on a hiring freeze they're not going to hire new drivers when we've got so many regular drivers that are eager for loads there's no loads on the board why would we have a new driver uh they're protecting their drivers or so they want yeah. you to think you know if they hire new drivers that takes food out of our mouths yep yeah, because we're we're older drivers so and we need the loads too but if you you know, keep the hope alive. Now we know what the sign means outside some of the companies. Keep the hope alive yeah. because if you lose hope, th then you're done for. You know, just keep trucking. Just keep trucking. Get that one load at a time. We'll work ourselves through it, and eventually it'll come back. That's yeah. that's our belief. All right. I think we pretty much hashed that out. We have. Okay. Hope, hope that explains a little bit about what's going on in the RV uh, industry right or now. We hope it gives you another explanation. You know, there's lots of stuff going on, but that is one part of it. That's um, a working quote-unquote factual theory that we 
we've got going on right now. So, if you like this video, press that like button. And if you... Subscribe. There you go. That's it right there. Subscribe to our channel. We're the Transport Bandit. That's all the information we got for you right now. Let's head on down the road. Transport Bandits. Out. Bandit.